Winter comes around every year here in Canada and it's starting to feel like a part of my identity as a Canadian. The long, cold and dry winters with the occasional blizzard are pretty much the norm up here between the months of early November all the way to spring, usually around late April. said, I was a little nervous when I sold my Subaru WRX as well as my previous two Subaru STIs to trade and sell up for the Toyota Tacoma because the Subaru handled the snow and the winter amazingly well. So there are three things that it comes to winter driving about the Tacoma that I like and they are in no particular order. Number one, I really enjoy the ride comfort of the Tacoma. The truck is just so much more comfortable all around and in general compared to any of my previous cars, my two STIs and my WRX. The cars were so much lower to the ground and usually after a really good snowfall and the snow plows have gotten out to plow the streets, we're left with those patches where the snow and ice weren't fully plowed or weren't flattened and this causes these super uneven bumps all over the road and it really sucks. And I remember in the Subaru, I used to feel like I was shaking the entire car apart as I was driving over those kinds of bumps and I would have also a lot of fear of wrecking something scraping it off of the ground or off of some sort of chunk of ice that might be sticking up um, or the wheels sinking into those dips between the crevices of the snow and the ice. I had gone through a total of four front lips on the bumper on the WRX. Now the very first thing that I loved, absolutely loved about the Tacoma uh, driving it in the winter months is that that feeling completely diminished. You can go over all those bumps and the rough patches in the roads. You kind of feel them like you know you're on it and the truck does sort of kind of shake a little bit but in comparison to any of the cars I previously had it's just so much smoother. It doesn't feel like you're going to break something and the added ride height is just a huge bonus. Now number two, without deep diving into the technical specifications and whatnot of the Tacoma, I would say that having the ability to be able to flip from two wheel drive to four high um, while on a snowy road is really nice. And then with having the four low as a backup plan if you ever get stuck, the Tacoma feels like a series of mechanisms in which you go through each of the different tools. If you're ever stuck, you start out with four high, you go to four low, then you wanna try their factory uh, locking differential in the back and then the ability to also shift from drive into the S mode which lets you control the gearing to go down to a lower gear and if all of these mechanisms still don't help you out then it's on to manual recovery using recovery boards, shovels, straps, um, things like that which are all again we have all of that gear mounted up on the Tacoma so being prepared is seriously the name of the game when it comes to adventuring in the Tacoma. Now number three, my last point is that the interior is actually just so comfortable and the one thing I immediately noticed um, after my WRX and going into the Tacoma was just how fast the interior and the Tacoma warms up. The actual heating system works so good um, and I, I mean I'm parked in the garage but even before the truck seems to isolate heat so much better than my cars did. And I'm not sure why that is, but in the past I would drive my car to work and the car wouldn't be warm until like 20, 25 minutes after I had left driving on the highway. It was usually just getting warm by the time I arrived to work. Whereas in the Tacoma, I find the heat is so much more warm and kind of toasty within minutes. Um, I'm turning the heat down like halfway through my commute. I don't have to have it blasting the whole entire time. Now maybe something was wrong with the WRX, I don't know, but the Tacoma just feels so much more comfortable, especially driving through the mountains. Um, I just feel like the shape and design of it and the interior cabin and the heating system just all works together so much better. So 
that's it guys that is my opinion that's on winter driving my out. tacoma it's currently negative 30 degrees celsius yeah. here in calgary um with the wind chill i think I peaking around drains, negative no 40 like so i haven't been going out much in the past few days but uh the odd days i did have to go out the tacoma still handled it exceptionally well and uh just going out to the mountains when it's winter time like this it's just really enjoyable in the tacoma so with that i, I really have no regrets from going from the wx to the tacoma when it comes to winter time but if i can ask you guys if you enjoyed this video to please leave a like and comment something down below on this video just let me know what your thoughts are on winter driving if it if it snows where you live and how you like it thanks again thanks for watching guys i really really appreciate the support lately on the videos i've been working really hard on these ones on the edits and uh, getting them put together so really appreciate all the support and all the love and all the comments it's seriously making a difference and i can see the channel uh, growing and, and that just feels really awesome so thanks so much guys and i'll see you in the next one see ya